morning everybody this is brian with hollis farms uh finna head in for an afternoon hunt got a couple of things i want to show y'all here i'm turning the camera around we've had a had a company contact us want to send us a couple of things to review thought it was some pretty handy little things we could use for hunting um i'm gonna take them in and use them today for the first time so let me let me swing the camera around here and show you what we got so we can get on there and get hunting a folding they call it a director's chair i guess there's lots of these out there it's a pretty nice little chair could be handy in a ground blind or a shooting house or i'm gonna i'm gonna actually take the chair today set up on the edge of a cutover got the wind right i kind of want to see what's going on, on this side of the property hadn't nobody's hunted over there pretty nice what i like about it it's got a real tight seat doesn't sink down in like some of those chairs you see people taking to the ball games it's pretty rigid a little easier to sit in got good back support this has also got i think it's got a, yeah it's got a zipper compartment underneath there too so carrying whatever into the ball game looks like it's probably waterproof you can probably fill that thing on the ice and put your cold six back in there whatever, whatever you're taking with you I also sent a, again, the name is Timberline, Timber Ridge, Timber Ridge, I'm sorry. Let's see it right here. They sent this little soft side cooler. That's a pretty neat little deal. You go in the box stand for the day or want to carry a cold drink or snacks or whatever, a duck blind. Got good zipper pulls. Looks like it might hold up pretty good heavy material. You can see there it's made by Timber Ridge. They sent me a link, and I'll make sure it's updated. I'll put it at the top of the bottom of the video. So, so you can find it on Amazon right there. Search Timber Ridge. It makes lots of stuff, lots of different chairs, coolers. I think this is insulated. Let's see if I can get it open. Not very big, but if it's too big, you'd be too, too heavy to take. I got me a couple of drinks in there with some ice. A couple of snack bars on the top. I'm gonna take it with me today. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna throw it in the in that little pocket in the bottom of the seat there and haul, haul it all in there. Or or it would fit. I got a pretty good size backpack I can use here by Badlands. This is a Badlands backpack. I've had this thing a long time. It's kind of got a. This one's got an internal. Aluminum frame and suspension to keep the, keep the pack off your back. Real nice. I've used it on some hunts out west. Um, I usually use I'll put my, you know, my camera tripod right there. I'll put it down here in the side. This side's kind of made for a spot and scope or whatever, but I usually put my tripod there. Pack all my other stuff down there. Anyway, that's enough about that. Get everything packed up. I'm gonna throw the Timber Ridge cooler in the Timber Ridge chair. And we're gonna go look over a cutover. We're gonna get in there, maybe get hit behind a brush pile or something, see if we can get lucky. Alright, y'all made it into this cutover. Kind of been debating on where I need to set up. I want to be able to see, but I don't want to be hit to spin the camera around right quick, show you where I set up. I set up on the middle of a I don't remember how many acres. This is a clear cut we cut this year. Got a green strip planted right down the middle of it. Y'all will see a shooting house out there, but if you wonder why I'm not in it, I'll show you the wind ain't right for it. I feel better where I am now because of where I think the deer will be coming from versus where the stand is and the wind located with the wind direction. So, let, me, uh, let me turn around and kind of give you 180 degrees of where we're sitting. We can get out here and get real still and get settled. Oak tree here for some break up my outline got a little bit of cover around me not a lot i'm gonna be i don't I really don't anticipate the deer being real close but you'll see we got the wood line down here hardwoods there along the creek most of the deer i really hope will come from here behind us or along this tree line here the wind is straight in our face y'all can see the shooting house so right there on that green strip got in it anything that came out on this wood line right here would be downwind of me so that's why I'm getting right where I am anything that comes out down here or 
over here, big bedding area back in here. Anything that comes over here across this food plot is going to be upwind of me. I should be able to see them early enough that they don't catch me over here. So I'll sit down, get my tripod ready, and get, uh, get camoed up and get still. Y'all, that was a slow afternoon. I tell you, really was surprised. It cooled off a little bit. Just enough wind to kind of keep my scent going in one direction. I thought, surely, looking over that big of a cutover, you at least might see one or two deer wandering around the edges. Uh, and, you know, maybe trying to slip out to get to that green, that green strip. But, man, he didn't do it. I... Heard a couple of shots around. So somebody was seeing something. Uh, one good thing, I did, hear, I did hear a bunch of turkeys fly up the roof, just not more than two or 300 yards from where I was sitting. We'd been kind of wondering where the birds are. It sounded like a wad of them flew up all at one time. I heard one one hen cackle and uh, it sounded like a 10 or 12 flew up with her. There's a bunch of them, that's a good sign. Look forward to seeing those spring will be here before you know it. Anyway, we appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to put a link, a, a, a web address for Timber Ridge products in the description below the video. Y'all check their stuff out. A uh, little cooler I had is nice. Chair is nice. Good for ground blind, shooting house, carry the ball games, whatever. Sitting around the yard, whatever you want to do. I think they got a lot of other campus stuff, a lot of different style coolers and things like that but I like I said I'll put a link down there y'all check them out they're on I think the best way it said was to search Timber Ridge products on Amazon so maybe you can find something you like we appreciate them sending us something to try out we'll put it to good use uh, y'all don't forget to subscribe come back tomorrow we'll be up to something thank y'all